Hey guys, Skelly here, and I'm back with another mod showcase. Now, let's go on to our mod. Our mod today is the Nether X mod. Now, what this mod does is when you go to the Nether, there's a lot more challenges and a lot more stuff, like more mobs and some more new blocks and, and like more ores to craft stuff into. So, it's pretty cool, and if you're doing like, you, you like hardcore stuff and like you want all that stuff, then this is the mod for you. Alright, so first I'm gonna go over the ores. Icarite. Now what this is, it's it's like the coal of this dimension. And so um when you mine it, you get this. It's called Icarite Shard and this is the block. You see? And um it's like the coal of this dimension and it's a little better than our coal in the regular world. So it cooks it just as the regular stuff, it lasts a little bit longer. But yeah. And so um, the next ore we're going to go over is Venomonite. And so this is what it looks like. And when you mine it, you just get the block like this. And um, when you smelt it, you get a Venomite ingot. You can craft this into nine ingots and you get a Venomonite block. You can craft it into a bucket and you get all these. I'll explain that in a minute. So you craft this in your normal Minecraft recipes for armor, Venomonite helmet, regular, regular armor is how you craft it. Venomonite sword, so um, I can't remember what the difference is, but I'll get back to that in a bit. But um, there's really nothing to it, really. Um, yeah. So Netherrack actually has a purpose now, because if you see all this, loot all this, there's nothing useful for it except bricks, and that's it. This actually, ha wait, this actually has a use. You can make a sword, you can make a pickaxe, you can make an axe, and you can make a shovel. So Netherrack does have a purpose. It has five attack damage. Pickaxe has three, four, and two. It's not bad actually. It's like stone. So next, our another ore is um, Necromite. So you can find this around here, and when you find it, you can get a Necromite gemstone. Craft that in, into a block with nine. You get a Necromite helmet, and all that stuff. And oh yeah, that's what it does. Um, Necromite in the um. The Venomonite, so when you go in poison or something, it, it repels it a little bit better than regular armor. Like, it stops it a just a little bit. But, that's what it does. <laughs> that's what it did, yeah. So, um, the Venomonite sword, 6 attack damage. It's basically the iron in this dimension. This is a little bit better. It's by 0. 0.5. And this is by 0. 0.5. It's all by 0. 0.5, so it's a 0. 0.5 better than um, the Venomonite, but craft is your regular minecraft recipe, crafting recipes basic it's simple it's easy all right and so next i'm gonna go over the wood in this dimension so you'll find this randomly i mean like you can basically make a survival series here i mean like look at it it's it's like regular wood it's called um vile wood yeah vile wood you, you can basically live in this dimension without getting killed by the pigment but that's a challenge so this is called vile wood and this is what it looks like as a regular it's like oak wood kind of but a different color um plank and stairs that's all you can make out of it um so it looks like vile wood that's what it's called vile wood yeah so that's what that is all right so next we have nether thorn so this is like the the dead bush of this dimension but when you walk in it let me slash load zero so when you go into it, this is happens. Yeah, you can get hurt by it. And let's go back to game one. one. All right, so that's what that does. So next we have uh, sorry, my game's a little laggy. So next what we have is poison. Now this will randomly generate, same as everything else. For example, right here. And ah, uh, where else? Right here. I just put that, that I was messing around with this earlier, but yeah, but it, it randomly spawns, and when you go into it, as you can see, poison, poison too actually, so you can, and this is water this dimension, so I showed over there, as you saw over there, it can, um, just randomly, it, it, it'll spawn them, you can put it on there, and it'll, um, just turn to obsidian as regular water does. It's the water of this dimension. Now, in order to get it, you have to do um, make a like a regular iron bucket, venomite three ingots, and you just get a venomite bucket. You can use lava and poison, 
and um, you right click and you get Venomite, Venomite bucket, and then um, this is a it's called uh, a quartz, a Nether quartz cauldron, and you right click in it, right click, you right click, come on, right click, right click. Oh my gosh, it's lagging out right now. Sorry guys. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, come on. Ah, uh, I'll be back in a second, guys. Sorry, guys. It lagged out. I have to go to the fault because phase full 32 pack is lagging out. Sorry. So, um, uh, it's poison. So, when you right click, you get poison bucket from the poison. And, um, you right click into the quartz cauldron. I don't know how to craft it. It's probably like the regular crafting. Probably like the regular cauldron. You right click, it gets in there. And then next, after you do that, you can purify this. So, you go to Icarite. Grab the Icarite shard and you right click and you get water. It's purified water. You can only use this in a regular water. Wait, just a second. I think you can put it in regular water. No, you can't. It's only in a glass bottle, so that that's fine. I mean, like, you can get yeah, it's cool. So next, here's another ore I forgot to mention. Um, it's called magma. So you'll see this randomly. And so let's say you're walking, you want or do 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 do, and you find this, you're like, oh, what is this? Oh, and then you break, you sit, you stand on top of it. Worst idea ever. You break it. Oh, let me get in game mode. So you're breaking it, and you're breaking it, and you all of a sudden, oops, you fall into it, and you break it, and that's lava. So be careful, guys. If you don't get anything from this at all. But when you do break it, you, um, you, uh, lava comes out and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, next, what I want to go over is the, the mobs. Now, this is called a gluten, and this will hurt you. So, I like the sound of it. Wait, come on. Ah, uh, that's like... Shoot. Sorry, guys. Let me get rid of that real quick. Sorry, guys. I was really interrupted by the gas. Take away that fire. Alright, so, um, um, we're gonna be on the mob. So, the gluten, what it does, it can hurt, hurt you, take like half a heart damage. And, um, if you have food in your inventory, it will eat it. Like, it'll take it away and stuff. It'll take everything away. It'll, so, let's say you have a bunch of food in your inventory, right? And you have sugar. It'll go for the sugar first, because, like, this thing loves sugar. And it will, it'll go for the sugar first, and it'll eat everything else after. Now, it will not eat golden apples, so if you have those in your inventory, you're safe though. But if you kill it, you can get some, some keyword guys, some of your stuff back. But yeah, so next we have the bull of this dimension, and if you kill it, yeah, it, yeah, bull, come on, if you kill it, you get cooked meat, and it's, yeah, basically, <laughs> Um, I'll show you what this does. I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys. Oh, see, look, it took the steak right out of my hands, the gluten. So that's what that does. And so you got your cage spider this dimension, the Nether spider. And if you kill it, you just get the regular spider web and stuff. But you find that randomly crawling around here. And so, so now we'll go into the difficult part, kind of like the difficult part. So zombie pigman. And this is a pigman, zombie pig, zombie and pig. <laughs> so um. In order to get these beautiful creatures, you have to um, do Splash Potion of Weakness. Yeah, Splash Potion of Weakness on this guy, and you give him a golden carrot. And then once you do that, it takes like four minutes. Yeah, four minutes. And then once you do that, you, you this guy, he appears, and um, he'll be called just a pigman. He won't kill you. You can hit him. He won't go after you. Be your best friend stuff. So if you right-click, like, if you put, like, any hostile mob in front of him, this will happen. See, killed him. So that's basically it. Oh wow, I'll kill everybody. <laughs> oh, um, one quick little thing, guys. Um, soul glass. That's the new thing here. So if you cook soul sand, you get soul glass, and you can make it as regular glass, soul glass panels and stuff. So if you put soul glass panels across a line like this, and you put redstone behind it, you can go through it. But if you want to get out, um, you can't go through it frontwards. You can only go through it. Yeah, you can go through it anyway. You just put redstone behind it and go through it and in and out of it. Alright, so guys, that's it for this mod, really. Um, goodbye, have a nice day.